what's up YouTube doing another video on how to easily fix an issue that you may be having um, this topic is going to be on how to get 12 volt power out of your 7 pin connector the truck that I'm doing today is a 2003 Chevrolet 1500 Suburban uh, Z71 package um, with the 7 pin connector in the back um, the issue that I'm having is that I'm not getting 12 volts out of the back and the way I'm gonna, sorry, the way I'm gonna get it is to install the dealer only fuse. Um, you guys may have been reading this part in your owner's manual, and that's where I found myself. So I figured out the problem. It says right here if your trailer is equipped with electronic brakes, you can get a jumper harness, electronic, blah, 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 with a trailer battery feed fuse from your dealer. This harness and fuse should be installed in your installed by your dealer or a qualified service center BS I'm gonna show you how to do it if you go ahead and you flip over to your fuse panel on 5108 the page that I saw that was on 477 so in section 5 page 108 you're gonna look for stud number one again this is only on this truck I don't know about any other vehicles but on this truck which I believe is the same as the 1500 Silverado, uh, 1500 Suburban, Tahoe, um, pretty much any of the ones that had this front end. All right, let's get to the fix. You're gonna come over here, remove this fuse panel cover. Okay, stud number one. So we're gonna come over here. And that's stud number one. You're going to notice it says B plus on it. You're going to go ahead and get a pair of needle nose pliers. Come over here. Remove it. That one comes out super easy. Now my trailer only draws 10 amps. So I'm only going to use a 20 amp fuse so I can play it safe. I'm going to come over here. Install the fuse. Push her down. And that's it. You've got... 12 volts in the rear of your truck. I don't know about you, but I don't know how much the dealer's gonna charge you to install that stupid little fuse, but I can imagine it's gonna be quite a bit of money. That's all you need to do. 12 volts on your uh, rear seven pin connector. Easy enough. All right, guys, good luck.